What are ships actually burning in their engine? Today we're going to talk about how Fuel EU Maritime targets the maritime sector. Europe is on its way to be the first net zero continent by 2050. And with the Fit for 55 package, the aim is to obtain a 55% reduction in greenhouse gas emissions by 2030. EU ETS puts a price on your emissions. So in theory, if we only had EU ETS, you could buy your way out of it. But because of fuel EU Maritime, you have to balance what you actually burn in your engines to lower the greenhouse gas intensity. This will not only affect the ship owners, but also suppliers. We will need to offer alternative fuel solutions. And the most straightforward one at this point is to blend in a biofuel to the existing fuel, such as, for example, HVO or FAME. Fuel EU Maritime mandates specific percentage of alternative fuels in ships' fuel mix. This is phased over time. 2% by 2025, 6% by 2030, 31% by 2040, and 80% by 2050. The targets are most likely to change and evolve based on the progress of the maritime industry. But the end goal is to reduce carbon intensity of shipping and promote the use of alternative fuel. Similar to EU TS, fuel EU maritime not only affect EU ship owners. This includes all ships regardless of their flag that travel in, out or within the EU. So even if a ship for example travels from Hong Kong to Rotterdam, 50% of the fuel burned will have to be fuel EU maritime compliant. That includes carbon, methane and nitrous oxide emissions. Different from EU ETS that only takes your actual fuel consumption into consideration, also referred to as tank to wake, Fuel EU Maritime takes all the steps within the supply chain into the equation, meaning from well to wake. So you have to consider the whole life cycle perspective, from production of the fuel, transportation, storage, all the way to combustion on board your vessel. But you might think, is this doable? Yes, using biofuels such as FAME or HVO does not require any modification of your existing engine, especially when they are blended with conversional fuels. This is why the industry refers to FAME and HVO as drop-in fuels. At this point, the demand on biofuels is not very high, but we expect an increased demand as we approach 2025. Yes, switching to alternative fuels is more expensive, but the financial penalty for not complying with the fuel EU maritime mandate will be even higher. But ideally, products will be priced lower the more demand we see. Myself and our team of experts in the EU and EEA are here to help you with the regulations and compliance on this journey to net zero.